Lenten Lunchtime Lesson by Father Andrew of the Society of the Divine Compassion. Tuesday after the second Sunday after Lent. Continuity and care. What a common sentence that is. We have found him. It is said about the poor criminal who has at last been run down by his pursuers. It has been said about many a child who has been lost as Jesus was lost. It is said when a doctor is sought and found for some sick person. These words have been said again and again, but never with such meaning as when Philip came to Nathanael and said, We have found him of whom Moses and the prophets spake. The desire of all souls, the answer to all questions, the light in all darkness, the fulfillment of every need. When Philip said these words, he had found a new kind of God. Man's crude idea of God is that he is sort of a millionaire in worlds and the power to fling about miracles who would do just what he liked and when he liked and how he liked without any thought of economy or care for detail. But if we look in our Lord's way of acting, we find two characteristics about them, continuity and care. He takes what is and lifts it up to something higher and he never wastes anything. When he was confronted by a hungry multitude, he did not say, I am God and I'll send down manna to them. I will make palm trees spring up in the wilderness and give them a splendid banquet. He said to the apostles, if you give what you have completely to me, we can feed this multitude. He took what they had and blessed and break it and the multitude was fed. But he was not like a conjurer who said, we can do this again and again. He said, gather up the fragments that nothing be lost. He taught us the individual care of God for each member of his creation. Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing? And not one of them shall fall on the ground without your father. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Our Lord gives himself completely to each one of us. That is what we almost never do to one another. We give our sympathy, perhaps, when someone comes to us in trouble, and that is a great thing to give. But we do not give ourselves, and so, though we help people, we do not really change them. It was because our Lord gave himself completely for and to each soul that he changed Mary Magdalene from a sinful woman to a saint, St. Peter from a weak man to a rock, and St. Thomas from a doubter to a pillar of the church. It is a marvelous thing to think that we can live in a world of law. It is not God's will that we should get anything out of nothing. His way is to start his creation and to give it power to develop its powers. It is a way of continuity. We have to bring to God what we have got. If any of us have a ruined church, we shall hope to see it built again. But we shall not ask God to drop down from heaven a beautiful little parish church. We must bring him all we have and ask him to bless it. In the same way, we have to build up a new world. People are giving God their lives, and he is blessing and developing them and making a new world. Every future comes out of a past. Every character is built on what has gone before. People sometimes wish that they could get rid of their past. They cannot do that, but out of their past, they can build their future. We may have done wrong in the past, but that may help us to be humble, to be sympathetic with other people, and to be dependent upon God. It is ourselves who have to be made into saints, and of all the circumstances of our past lives, none will be lost. There is the very same continuity in truth. Truth is unveiled as life goes on. We cannot say that the church has the whole truth now. It holds a sufficient deposit of truth for life's salvation and fulfillment. But that truth has to be seen and revealed in greater beauty throughout the ages. The church has to become bigger and greater, wider and broader, and it is doing so. Our Lord Jesus Christ not came not to destroy, but to fulfill. We must have a great reverence for the things we have and bring them to him, and that which we bring to him will be blessed and multiplied. And out of the past will come the wonderful future. We can utterly be sure that this world is being ordered by God, developed by God, 
and that all that is good in it is being blessed and multiplied.